Good morning, good morning. It's moving day. Oh my gosh. The day that I've been waiting for for literal years is finally here. It does not feel real. Can't compute what's actually about to happen. Today I'm moving into my dream home that I've been waiting to move into for literal years and I am so excited, nervous. I just feel so insanely grateful and I'm not even in there yet. I'm like, oh my goodness, how, how, just how. Before I get into telling you the order of the day, Please give this vlog a huge thumbs up if you enjoy moving vlogs. I obviously have unpacking vlogs. And in every vlog this week, because I have been and I am continuing to daily vlog, there is a giveaway. Today's giveaway is something that I have always wanted to give away. Well, not always, but ever since I got one. And I've just never had the opportunity. And then I was doing all these giveaways this week and I literally two days ago ordered this and it's being delivered today um i'm like do i tell you now or do i wait but i'm gonna tell you so you can enter all the details will be on the screen right here i'll step to the side for the details but today's giveaway prize is a ninja creamy and you will know how much i love my ninja creamy and it just felt like the perfect gift to give away to you guys for supporting me because I mean, I know how much you guys like them and want them. Okay, let's do some makeup. So the order of the day, I have some work to get done first thing, and then I need to get myself over to the house. I might actually go for a walk and get a coffee just before I leave, because you know when you need that kind of, that second? I really want to take today in. I know it's going to go in a flash, and I really want to, like, oh my God, it's going to make me cry. I really shouldn't cry. I shouldn't start this early. If I start, I'm not going to stop. Um, I really want experience it and feel it I feel like I really want to feel it I don't want to let it go by in like a flash and sit there tonight in the house and be like what even happened like I really want to feel every second so yeah I want to go for a walk and just take a set and then I need to go to the house I have I can't open this I have some clothing rails to set up because my dressing room isn't being fitted just yet and obviously I need somewhere to put my clothes so I ordered a ton of clothing rails for Amazon so I need to set those up so when the clothes get here they can just be unpacked and then the movers should be getting here um, around midday, all going well, but my mum will be able to let me know if that changes. And then once the movers are here, obviously they're going to unpack for me, bring everything in, but they're also going to put my bed up for me, which is really nice. So by the time the movers leave, I should have a bedroom with a bed and a mattress on it, which is just very reassuring, isn't it? <laughs> when today is so like up in the air, it'll be nice to know that I have my bed. I'm really nervous. I've got that like pre-holiday feeling in my stomach. I think it's because this has just been something that I've been waiting for for so incredibly long. When I bought the house, I never dreamed that it would take this long for me to live that reality that I just bought for myself. I kind of like got this house and not only the house, I, I saw the life and I don't know, I didn't think I didn't think it would be this long. I can't even explain to you how much this means to me, how much today means to me. This whole, it's so significant. This is such a start of a new chapter and it's a new chapter that I feel like I've needed for so long. Like even little things, just like having my own space to do things in my own time. There's so many things that I used to love doing in vlogs that I've just not been able to do whilst I've been living under my parents' roof or like, you know, out of London. And I get to do all those things again and it's just, it's so exciting. I feel like everything's just like bubbling and simmering and so many exciting things are happening. Like I had such a crazy call yesterday with YouTube and they've got some like crazy exciting things going on for me. And it just all feels like it's finally coming together. And it's things like that that would have been so difficult for me to commit to because I didn't, I wouldn't have even known where I would have been. and. It now I'm here, I'm in London and I'm, it's accessible and doable and it's exciting. I just can't wait for you guys to see what my reality is going to look like and how great that's going to be for the vlogs. My goodness, there's so many times where I'm like, I want to show them this, but it's like, it just, you know, wouldn't have been appropriate. I feel like I get my life back. Well, I guess not getting my life back. I guess I'm starting a whole new part of my life. And with that, it's empty. One of the chances. My favourite blush is empty. Maybe that means I have to start using a different blush now. Hopefully not. <laughs> I really like this one. I need to stop being so freaking like superstitious. Not everything means something. I need to like get that out of my head. I just feel a bit sick from nerves. I'm going down a date. Ooh, I think this is a peanut butter one. That's what I really want. Although today is really exciting for me, today is also really exciting for Em. So we've literally just secured a venue for her birthday party. She turns 30 this year. I'm not going to film her right now. No, so everyone 
everyone used to say that 30s were the best years of your life as a woman, and now everyone's saying 40s are. So no, I don't, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. We don't need to think about it. But M has just secured the coolest venue, so we're getting really excited, and we're going to go and do a recce of the venue in a few weeks. We're going to have a little trip out of London. It's going to be wonderful. She's clearly very excited. Um, she's going to come over to my house at some point later in the day and come and see me when she's finished work. So oh, how cool! I, I yeah, I'm feeling very. It's literally 10 a.m. I, I should already. I can't believe it's happening. I know. I should already be at my house, but I have been finishing getting everything edited that's going up today because, as I said, <laughs> I don't have an editor, so it's just me. But I wanted to make sure that everything was done before I left to go to mine because, you know, when it's like when you start, it doesn't stop. So I'm all done. I'm just waiting for it to export and upload. And then we will head to the house and I need to... I want to get everything unpacked from my car before the movers get there. And then... Time for, time for them to bring everything. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. I also cannot wait to get a Deliveroo tonight and just stand in my kitchen with a Deliveroo and just take everything in. I, I think the moment everyone goes home and there's silence is gonna be like really loud, but I can't wait. Can't freaking wait. I just feel like the luckiest girl in the whole entire world right now. Mum's just called me the movers are at the storage unit and they're just loading those things up. So they've picked everything up from home. And she's just rang me and been like, do you want this? Do you want that? Like I have things in that storage unit. That storage unit was from my flat in Stratford. So my my bedside tables are in there. She just called me and was like, do you want the bedside tables? And I just didn't even remember they were in there. All of my Ikea pack systems in there. I'm not having that brought down because I'm having all of my wardrobes and things fitted, but I did love my pack system. But yeah, it's real, it's happening. And then obviously I've got a bit of time because the movers are obviously gonna drive from there to the house. They'll probably want some lunch before they start unloading, looking at the time now. And then, yeah, this afternoon is just gonna be like unpack, unpack. But I feel confident that I've got quite a bit of time before, you know, it's chaos. I'm here, I'm in my bedroom. <laughs> So my belongings. I, I've just, I mean, I've walked in and the builder said to me, I'm gonna have very bad news for you. And I've just, I was like, not today. But obviously I have to deal with it. So I'm just gonna go and deal with that. And then I'm going to start bringing everything in from my car. And I think I'm gonna get started setting up the clothing rails. My food is in my house. <laughs> this is so weird. I was also thinking, I mean, there's things on the island right now, so I can't put it on the island. But when I get a food order, I'll be able to like bring it in, put it on the island, distribute it all. But yeah, these are the boxes for now. These are just some sweets. I might actually open those and put those out for everyone because there's quite a few people here already. And yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna start unloading yet. This doesn't feel like a priority. This is something I'll do when, you know, everyone's gone later. I just feel like my priority right now is just getting things in, in the right place and making sure that like there's loo roll in the bathroom for the people that will need loo roll and things like that. I have my little cleaning box with bin bags, tape, spray, everything you could need. I can't believe I've just put a bin bag in a bin for the first time. But I think I'm gonna set up a little like cleaning station over here just so everyone knows where to go if they need like kitchen roll or spray or wipes, you know? I'm trying to make sure there's not just like random stuff everywhere when the movers get here. So any bits and bobs that are out, I'm trying to like find a place for them even if it's not their forever home, just so there's not stuff everywhere. Otherwise I'm gonna have a whole load more stuff. You're like, where does the stuff go? <laughs> One of the huge pros of having stuff everywhere is that I always have something to put you on. You're on a suitcase right now, and it's kind of perfect. But today's giveaway prize just arrived. This is the Ninja Creamy. Now this is the newer version. I have the old one, and this one you don't have to put it, I, I think, I don't think you have to put it like in a pot, in the freezer, in a jug. I think you just put the pot from the freezer and connect it to the machine. So it's a bit more streamlined, like less washing up to do. But yeah, if you wanna win yourself a Ninja Creamy, then the giveaway's at the start of this video. If you missed that, I'm giving away a Ninja Creamy. So yeah, this has literally just arrived. So the giveaways all end like towards the end of October. All the details are down below, but in not too long, I'll be shipping this out to one of you, which is a really cool thought. By the way, I haven't said it yet this vlog, but if you do enjoy these, please give it a thumbs up. If you've made it to this point in the vlog, then you've probably been watching for a good 10 minutes. So now's a great time to, <laughs> to give it a thumbs up. And even if you don't want to enter the giveaway, please leave me a comment. It makes me so happy. I literally cried this morning from all your messages on Instagram. The amount of DMs I had from people just being like, good luck, good luck, like have, have the best day. Finally is here. It's like, oh, you guys are literally all like so nice, so nice. And it's 
really kind of come through in your messages that you will get how much this means to me and I don't know I just felt like I've got like a million best friends you know it's a really cool feeling I always say doing this and like being a vlogger and having people that watch your life and have done for so long is such a crazy feeling because you can meet someone on the street and you feel like you already know them because they already know you so well the amount of times I meet people out and about and they're like how's the house I'm like oh my gosh you feel like my literal like best friend that I've known since primary school it, it's crazy and it's such like I feel so privileged to be in that position. I feel, yeah, so lucky. It's the best thing ever. But I'm going to find a safe place to put this because the house is about to be full of stuff. I'm having one of those times where I'm like, not knowing really where to put things at all. Also, mum said they managed to fit every single thing in the van. What she failed to tell me was uh, they had an issue with the van and they had to go and switch vans to a smaller van and move all the stuff and it was a whole thing. So we're running a little behind schedule. Like I thought they'd be getting here around now, but I still think they're about an hour and a half away. It's fine, it doesn't like, I'm not, I'm not fussed, but, but yeah. <laughs> there is no but, it just, that's what's happening now. You guys, the movers have just arrived. Look, it's my chair from my old flat. I obviously am gonna get new bar stools, but I was like, these will be great for now because otherwise what the heck am I gonna sit on? And they've just bought my huge um, Nutcracker and Nigel, who is in the guest room right now. I actually think I might leave him in there as a bit of a joke until it's Christmas and I'll bring him down. I'm like, where do I even store? I, it, it is like an, it is an eight foot Nutcracker. I'll show you in a bit. But like how, how, where do you even store that? So the door is off. Uh, we have to take it off to fit my garden furniture through, but it does fit through, thankfully. But yeah, it's happening, it's going. Labeling the boxes was the handiest thing ever. And all my rooms being different colors was really handy because I can just be like orange room, green room, pink room, which is very, very handy. But yeah, kitchen box and then got a little hamper as well. So this is the dressing room situation. Uh, it will do for now. Honestly, I think it's actually the most sensible thing I could be doing until my fitted wardrobes are done. And I'm saying this right now, but I might be wrong. I don't think I'm gonna fill all of these. But I thought they were very handy because they have the shoe storage and it's like double layered as well. Oh my gosh, look at it. So this is gonna be my gym eventually, hence why the Peloton's in here. And this is Nigel, he's my eight foot nutcracker. And this is where he's living for now. And to be honest, he looks great next to the pink. I mean, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with him until Christmas, but he looks fine here. I mean, if you were shopping for guests, wouldn't it? But I'll do. New angle unlocked. You're on my Ninja Creamy. But look, a gorgeous bunch of flowers has just been delivered in a bag. I don't know who it's from though. Most of the garden furniture is through. They're just moving my air dresser up to the room I'm going to have it in. And then the snug is now. I'll show you the snug completely empty. Much better. And then the sofa's going to come and that's going to go there. So this room's probably going to feel like the most done room first. Just because, you know, a kitchen already feels full, doesn't it? And then once the sofa's in, it'll feel, feel real. And then I have my frame TV being delivered. Hopefully next week to go in the snug. I need to decide whether I'm going to... I need to brush my hair. I need to decide whether I'm going to put that on the wall. There's like an art stand that looks a bit like an easel, which is really cute. But I have wired for it to go on the wall, so I might see if I can get someone to come and mount that for me. Sorry, I feel really obnoxious every time I talk to you and brush my hair. I feel like I could actually just brush it before I start talking to you, couldn't I? I don't know why I don't. Day the day is going quickly, it's like 4 p.m. You can probably tell from the light change. You guys, I've just walked into my dressing room. Can you see? Oh my goodness. So, it looks literally like a shop. I actually can't. This is what we're working with for now. I do think all the rails are going to be filled because I don't have drawers. I did bring my IKEA Alex drawers with me so I can put, I guess, maybe I'll use the top drawer or two for like skincare, everyday makeup, and then underwear t-shirts, pajamas, because I have nowhere for those to go. But thinking about that, actually, I have bedside tables, so I can put my pajamas in there if that makes more sense for now. Uh, but the movers have finished up with the first van. We'll have to go and get the second load, which is like my sofa, my kitchen things. But let me show you how everything looks. So this is the dressing room. And to be honest, I'm so happy with how organized it is. I have a full length mirror coming that I don't know whether I'm gonna put it there or maybe between the windows, I don't know. But these are all my non-hanging bits. And we come through to the gym, which is uh, full. 
So this is what I really need to work from. To be honest, originally I was gonna have everything put in the drawing room, but obviously the drawing room is still a building site. So it's all in here and it's all in the pink room, but mainly this room. It's so funny what I found. Got a mirror, my Ikea plant. I feel like this is iconic. I feel like everyone has this. Oh, this is the stand I was talking about for the frame TV. So it looks a bit like an easel. And then this room is also full, but I actually need to sort this one probably more imminently because the building needs access to this cupboard on Monday. So. It's Friday, but I'm sure that's fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. But they've gone to get everything that was in my flat in Stratford. Basically, I didn't see any point in bringing anything from the Stratford flat back home. So everything from the Stratford flat is in a storage unit that they're now gonna go to and go and get everything there. So it's like my sofa, my recent things, my kitchen things. And I seem to remember when I had everything moved from, oh, my bed, when I had everything moved from that flat, it felt like there wasn't much. The van looked half empty. Like it, the guys literally laughed at me. So hopefully it won't clutter up this room to be honest all i actually had in my bedroom from all like a living space from that place was like actually i think it was just all taken back to my my mom's like because i used it all so it's just like the furniture bit so they're gonna put my bed up for me i've got my rug my bedside table so hopefully that's gonna make this feel a bit more like homey i'm going to have a biscuit because that seems to be the only sensible thing to do right now i did ask everyone on snapchat which one they would pick which would you pick out of this selection for me it's obviously this one but we'll do wait yes i think that's the way i did it no i did it this way one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve which one would you pick? I'm gonna have another chocolate round. Evidently, I'm the only one eating me for a skit. It was a nice thought. I'm going to try and clear some space in the kitchen, like on the island and things, so they can come and bring things in, have somewhere to put them. <coughs> My sofa's gonna be in soon, imminently. Today has been a blur, like a complete total blur. And they were delayed because, I think I told you briefly, but their van broke down, so they had to go and get a different van and move everything from one van to the other. But they'd already picked everything up at my mom's house and loaded it. And then they'd gone to the first storage unit, got there, realized they need to switch the van. So they had to unpack everything and then obviously then repack it all in the new van and then go back to the storage unit and go. So it just added like an extra hour and a half on or two hours, I guess, because they had to do all that. And now it's just a little later than I thought it would be, but it's fine. It actually is probably a good thing because it stops me uh, trying to do everything tonight. <laughs> I honestly just have such random stuff everywhere. Like this is a, a box of Kilmer jars. <laughs> It's like, I don't even know where these go yet, but I want to get rid of the box, so. These are gorgeous, aren't they? I collect these and they're very handy. I think I'll be going to the tip about 50 times in the next like five days. So I'm just gonna try and get as much cardboard out of my house as possible. Obviously there's like some boxes that are fine that I can put down and kind of store and reuse, but there's a lot of crumpled boxes that there's no saving. So I have two baskets of food here that you saw, but one of them is half empty so what i'm going to do is empty that one and everything that i need to take upstairs but doesn't have a home that's little can go in there like i've got some shampoos and obviously they don't belong downstairs they're in here but i'm like where <laughs> where am i going to put them so they don't get in the way or they don't get lost i feel like that's quite an efficient way to do it and then i know i have a place where everything that doesn't have a place but needs to go upstairs goes i I cannot wait to display this. I got this out of the moving van. I was like, I'll carry that one. This is my grandma's and my mom's mom's kitchen scales. Obviously she doesn't use these anymore, but she did when we were younger and when we were cooked together. I have so many vivid memories of my sister and I fighting over who put which weights on. We always wanted to do like the dinky little ones. And yeah, I'm a very nostalgic person and I really value my family and my family, I guess the things that remind me of them. And my grandma immediately said, because I love to bake, I love to cook. She was like, would you like this uh, for your home? So this is her gift to me for my new home. And I'm so proud of it. I think I might actually put it on the shelves that you're on right now to display. I don't know if it's very heavy. I don't know if they'd be able to hold the weight, but if so, I would like to do that. I've decided I absolutely must cut the cover off the sofa right this second. Gosh, the color is so perfect in this room. I love this sofa so much. Oh, the most important bit of equipment in my kitchen. I don't know if this is where it'll live, but it's where I've put it for now. And you know what? It takes up way less space than I thought it would. And I think that's really given me crazy perspective on how big this kitchen is because this isn't even half of what I have the other side. In one of these boxes in here is a vacuum and I really want to find it because I 
need to vacuum my floor and <laughs> i really want to do that before i take my shoes off so as you can see all my appliances are sage hmm where's the vacuum well that was ridiculously lucky look i've just opened this box and boom you guys the movers are gone i probably look very orange i've got this light on i didn't know if i needed it i feel like now it's too dark i'm still figuring all these things out maybe i need to get a different color bulb because oh but i like the vibe of it being warm in my room i'm not getting a different bulb but they put my bed up for me which is obviously so kind of them and i'm now going to make it because i've ordered myself some dinner and i just think if i do this now i'm gonna feel incredible when i get into bed so <laughs> that's what we're doing first i did bring my mattress topper but i brought it covered in my sheet that needs washing so the sheet itself <laughs> it's not going anywhere near my bed but the mattress topper will be fine i've just had that first moment of being alone and it was so funny i just didn't know what to do with myself so i did what i think most of us would do in this scenario i walked into the kitchen i picked up the vacuum <laughs> vacuumed the whole house i just wanted anything that wasn't clean or tidy gone so i could just like have some like have some space be able to walk around in my slippers which i'm doing now and it feels amazing um but let me put this on and we'll carry on we paused the bed making because my dinner arrived i had to order something that didn't involve a knife and fork so i got myself pizza this looks nice. I've got some burrata on top. And then I also really wanted some hot honey on it. So I ordered myself some hot honey. I told myself, I was like, for my first night, I can have my anything meal. So it doesn't matter how much it costs. It doesn't matter what it... Oh, no, these ground... No, these beans. I ordered some coffee beans for the morning. It doesn't matter what it is, where it's from, how much it is. I'm having an anything dinner to celebrate moving in. And then I ordered some hot honey, but I also got some milk and some coffee beans for the morning, so I don't have either of those. So I can get up and make a coffee in my coffee machine. So I need to clean that and everything before I go to bed. I mean, it's not early. It must be about half eight. Oh, my gosh, that's weird. It's 8.25. Um, but, yeah, this is my dinner, and it's my first dinner in the house so it feels quite momentous i just finished my pizza and i have such an overwhelming sense of gratitude right now like i don't want you to think that i don't realize how ridiculous this is like i'm 26 years old i have just moved into my dream home that i've renovated and i've done it all on my own and i never ever ever thought that this would be my reality and the fact that it is is just so insane and this is such like it's an accumulation of years and years of my work and it's yeah like the times when i was like 16 and my friends would be at mcdonald's after school and i'd be in my bedroom filming my silly little videos that i got the mic taken out of me for and that journey eventually has led me here 10 years later and it is just insane like that i uh, i don't even know what to say it feels ridiculous i feel like the luckiest person in the whole entire world i am so grateful that i'm able to give myself this security like the fact that i don't have to leave this house if i don't want to leave this house for the next three months i don't have to there's no get out date there's no having to be somewhere that i can't get to i am here and i am safe and i am happy and that is what i am just so incredibly in awe of mm -hmm. i'm dropping things on the floor already i just feel like for the first time in my life i'm exactly where i need to be and it feels insane i feel like i've finally had a second to breathe now and i'm kind of looking around and being like oh my goodness there is so much stuff around me but in all the madness look what got delivered so beautiful and i actually didn't open the card yet i popped it down the side into the bag oh this is so sweet it's from the team at the real flower company and honestly what a gorgeous housewarming gift look at this can you see this how beautifully arranged is that and i love that it comes in a reusable bag i am such a flower person i will have flowers in my house at all times i always have it's just the type of person i am you know some people are like into that and some people are like oh no they die eventually but no i'm really one of those people that i really value how beautiful this is and i actually have a couple of vases that i can put them in I might take them out of the bag and put them in here. I'm going to leave them as they are for now because I want to take a photo of them tomorrow in the daylight. But for now, just so they don't kind of fall over in the bag, I'm just going to put them in one of the jugs. And then tomorrow I will take them out of the wrapping and actually put them in the jug properly with some nice fresh water. You know when you see something and you're like, I know where that is. So my lamp base was put up here by the movers. And I knew in my mind's eye, I could see them where my lampshades were. And I found them, but I only have like one base. There's the big one here, which is like the floor lamp, but this is the table lamp. 
And I don't know where the bulbs are. I kind of assumed by default the bulbs would be with the lampshades, but they're not. But I'm just gonna put lampshade on the base for now and put it on the bedside table just so it's there. But I have a big decision. I need to decide what side of the bed I'm sleeping on before a man comes into my life and tries to tell me that I prefer the other side. I've actually decided that I'm never having a man live in this house with me until I'm married. So if I go back on that, you guys have full permission to absolutely rinse me and tell me off because that's a pact that I've made with myself. I told my parents, I was like, no man is moving into this house until I'm married to him. And I intend on standing by that. I know any of my friends and family that are watching this are just cackling right now. So this is the base. Wait, this might be the big one. I think I ordered small ones too. No, this is the one I was using. So these are Pookie and they do the most beautiful lampshades and lamp bases. These lampshades are Pookie and William Morris. It's a collaboration they did. Really, I need to put the, the bulb in. I'm sure it's somewhere, but I've told myself I'm not gonna go rootling through boxes because I know if my dad was here, I would start and he would tell me off because he knows that I'm gonna break something. As soon as it gets late or I get tired, I become so clumsy. And I really think it's something to do with being five foot 10 and having like size five and a half feet. I drop everything, I break everything. I, I'm like, I'm super careful as a person, but just by default, I seem to be incredibly clumsy. So I'm going to make a really sensible adult decision and not open any more boxes tonight. My father, I've put this on really wrong, haven't I? There we go, much better. So I actually bought these lamps when I was doing my bedroom at the flat that I rented in Stratford. And I wanted to use that as like a trial run for this bedroom. So this is quite, going to be quite a um like a warm cozy bedroom it's not gonna be airy or bright it, it's gonna feel almost festive too early because of like you know the burgundies the red i really wanted it to feel just homely like there's so many lights in here i have lamps and i have sconces and i have my actual lights i really wanted it to feel you know how in a hotel you always have like layered everything you have too many sheets on the bed you have too many lights in the room and you have to go around before you go to sleep and figure out where all the light switches are to turn all the lights off that was like the vibe i was going for and i think i think i've kind of achieved it you know what i'm really swaying towards this side of the bed oh that is Far too big. I need to get the smaller lamp bases. I do have them somewhere. This looks stupid. Yeah, this looks absolutely ridiculous. I do have the lamp base that's literally half the size. I want it to be an oversized lampshade, but my goodness, that's just too tall. It needs to be half the height. Maybe not half, maybe two thirds. Do you see my vision? I want it to be like oversized, but this is like they're too much the same height. It looks silly. Well, my friends, I'm going to have to call it a night. Basically what I decided to do was take as much as possible out of the boxes. It's all around me. And then I'm slowly going to work, well not slowly, but just gradually going to work my way through. Sorting, confirming everything I want to keep, if there's anything I want to pass on, and then washing it and finding a place for it to go. I mean, look at my kilner jars. I didn't realize I had that many, but I felt like this was the most you know, sensible way to do it because I want to be able to see everything I have so I can decide where it belongs. Otherwise, if I start putting things away, I don't know how many I've got or, you know, maybe I've run out of space or I didn't know I had something else that doesn't fit with that kind of thing. So I just want to see it all. So most of the boxes in here are pretty much empty of like kitchen utensils and bakeware, stoneware. And I also cleaned out my coffee machine, which was just something that was really important for me to do. Uh, so in the morning, it is ready for me to have a coffee and I'm very happy to have this back in my life. I mean, we have one at my parents' house, but I never got to choose what beans were in it, so <laughs> it makes a difference, but I'm gonna head up now. You guys, I've had a complete mare. I washed my hair, I've had the lovely shower, and I can't find my hair dryer. <laughs> I hate nothing more than letting my hair air dry, let alone sleeping on, well, it's damp. It's not like sodden, I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, not ideal. So if my hair looks crazy in tomorrow's vlog, it's because it, uh, it's bedhead, literally. But it's literally 1am, so I'm going to call it a night. I think, honestly, that's not bad going for how awake and alive I feel right now. Like, I literally just want to unpack everything. But I also want to savour it. Today has just been the craziest day and I still don't think it's quite computed what's happened. I also, again, just want to say thank you for all the love and the messages. I have had the nicest messages I think I've actually ever received on social media ever today. And like, 
also like thank you to my friends i literally every single one of my friends has reached out to me one of my friends messaged me earlier i haven't spoken to her in a, like, a little while just you know you have those friends who you speak to them like i don't know every six months but like they're your really really close friends and if you live next door to each other you would see each other every day you just simply don't and she texts me she's like hey oh my gosh congratulations can't wait to see the house love you so much when am i coming over and what can i do do you need any help like let me know and i'll be there and like you know what you just think oh my god like i'm literally the luckiest girl in the whole entire world so feeling very loved very grateful and it's just been the nicest evening just to experience this and just just kind of be like i was emptying those boxes earlier in the kitchen onto the side and i didn't have any music on i didn't have any tv on i didn't have any like a podcast or any youtube normally i would have youtube i don't know if you saw in the other vlog the other day i think it was well i think it was the vlog actually that went up today for you guys so the vlog that went up on friday where i was packing i was saying mum i really want to bring my tablet but like i don't have a case like i am a tablet on my stand girly with a youtube video playing in the background 24 7 if i run out of youtube videos i then go to like american dad simpsons family guy and yeah i just it was silent and i wasn't on my phone i wasn't thinking about anything else and i was just so content and so happy so yeah i obviously have so much to do i have so much to talk to you about and fill you in on um even just feelings wise i'm feeling a bit like overwhelmed right now but i really hope you've enjoyed this video i just want to say a huge thank you so much every single one of you this is such a huge new chapter of my life and i'm so ready for it i'm so grateful for it and i finally for the first time in my life feel like i'm exactly where i'm supposed to be and i'm here when i'm supposed to be here so thank you so much for watching and i will see you bright and early in the morning